Uh, this is a demonstration using our Tektite 4.0 software to do a multi-point test. So the first step is to make a connection between either your DG700 or your DG1000 pressure and flow gauge and your computer. And that can be done either by cable or Wi-Fi. If you have a Wi-Fi link for your DG700, you can make a Wi-Fi connection to your computer. So we'll launch the software. And we're going to use Tektite 4.0. Okay, and we'll go up to File, New Test. And we're going to use this CGSB standard. Where there's also a, an option of the, some ResNet standards. And if you want um, your serial number to show up in the report, you can enter that information in there. And then whatever additional information you want to show up, you don't have to fill in any of this, um, but you can. Whatever you want to show up in the report, you can fill in uh, on these screens. I'm not going to cover all the details of those. We're just going to primarily show you how to do uh, a blow our test, multi-point blow our test using the software. And the method is auto, so we're going to do an automated test. Click Next. Okay, so now it's scanning for connected devices. You can see our status bar here. And um, once that goes green, we, we've know, we know we've made the connection. So now it says idle monitoring. It's doing an auto zero of the gauge. So it, it's ready to go. So you can see we've got our screen here, CFM on the going um, vertically and horizontally are, are the um, pressures the building pressures and then our fan pressure, building pressure, and uh, you know baseline pressures, etc., are shown on the right. So we're going to click Start Test here. So now it's going to ask for indoor and outdoor temperatures because it's going to do a density correction based on those indoor and outdoor temperatures. Some standards also have you put the elevation above sea level, and you can see this is in Fahrenheit here. Um, indoor temperature about 70 outside about 50 okay okay so now it's telling us it's prompting us to cover the inlet to start measuring a base so it can start measuring a baseline pressure so we want all the we want our fan set up and our all, we're all ready to go with the fan blanked off with the uh, no flow plate and all the rings so click OK so now it's going to do an auto zero and it's measuring our baseline pressure on our status bar here and you can see it's taking a hundred samples. Um, now it's prompting us to cover the fan, uh, remove the fan inlet cover and install appropriate flow, uh, flow ring. So, um, so we'll do that and, um, and in this case we're going to use ring B. So I'll click on ring B. So we've removed uh, the no-flow plate. We, we've got ring A and B in place, and we're going to proceed with test. Now it's adjusting the fan um, for 50 pascals. You can see our fan speed bar is slowly moving across here. And on a, on a windy day, you're going to want it to move a little slowly. If you're impatient like me, you can grab the slide bar and, uh, and pull it. Um, uh, to make it to make it move a little faster you can see our building pressure is demonstrated here and also it's kind of hard to see on the screen but but there is a little box that's moving across the screen um, that shows what pressure we're at Now it's doing an auto zero and it's sampling the data so we can see it counting up to 100, um, sampling that data. And it plotted a point. So it, it took 100 data points and averaged them and, and it's showing where, where that plot is here. Now, ideally, all of these plots would would follow in a in a in a line. Um, 
that tells us our uh, we've got we've got good data. So now it's sampling data for for our next point, and it's going to plot a total of eight eight data points here. So you can see they're following uh, following well on the line. And the advantage to to doing a multi-point test is um, you'll get you'll get a lot better data because you're you're gathering uh, data at a lot of different pressures and it's doing a calculation based on um, you know based on all of that data it's taken and um, so it does give you um, better information and it also um, you'll know when you're done with the test how good your data was. It'll tell you the, you know, the plus or minus on, on how accurate it was. And it'll also do, um, it will tell you how well all of that data uh, fits, um, uh, fits on a line. It'll draw a line through those points and um, tell you how well it fits on the line. And that gives you an idea how repeatable that, that test is. Um, So it's definitely good to know, you know, when you leave the house that uh, that you've gotten good data, and that um, that your your test is pretty accurate. Okay, so now it's plotting, it's sampling our last data point. And it's asking us to cover our inlet, our, uh, uh, put our, our ring, our blanking plate on to cover it for another baseline. It, it, it does a baseline before, you can take, see it's taking samples again before and after the test. So we can see our, you know, we're, we're fitting really well on that, that line. Um, and I'm going to go to the next screen to show our results. And now it, it's showing... Um, 633 CFM at 50 pascals plus or minus 0.2 percent. So we know we've got a we've got a really good test here, and our correlation coefficient we want that to be 0.99 or better, and we've got three nines, so we've got it's fitting really well on that line. So um, we know when we leave the house that we've got we've got really good data. Okay, that's. Uh, that's it for doing using our Tektite software to do a multi-point test.